Many times when working with Python, the code might look great, but when you run it, you get a weird error that you just you just can't figure out. Your first thought might be to go back to your code, add a bunch of print statements. While that works in a lot of cases, sometimes the problem is a bit too complex with just print statements alone, and you need a debugger solution. So what you can do is install the interactive Python debugger with pip install ipdb, and you can go back to your code, add a debugger line like so, import ipdb, ipdb.setTrace. Now save your work, rerun your code, and you will now be inside the debugger session. Now what's really cool about this is you can type in commands like list to list where you are in the code. You can see the code before, after, and where you currently are. You can then type commands like n to go next, to the next line in the code, and c to continue execution till you hit a debugger statement again. So now we can see that the first time log transform worked, it seems to work fine. If we press n, and then n one more time, we see now the math domain error occurred at this line the second time we ran the function. So we can now start to you know play around and figure out what's going on. We can also now, because we're in this uh, debugger state, we can type in x to see what x is. You see, ah, when x is zero, we get the math domain error. So now we've debugged what's going on. Let's type that into Google. Okay. We now know that, you know, a log of zero does not exist. It's not a thing. And so that was a silly example. So we can quit our debugger session. We can go back to our code, delete the debugger statement and add an example that makes a little bit of sense. So now we can save our work, rerun our code and we're error free. If you want to know all the commands you can do with the interactive Python debugger, go back to your code with your debugger session, type in help, it'll list all the commands that are available to you. You can then type help and then the specific command you're interested in. It'll tell you what it does. It'll give you a little shortcut for it. Most of the time though, just be using N to go to the next line, C to continue running the code. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe, give it a like, and comment down below if there's any Python tutorials you're looking for.